Data Science's Relevancy to Digital Marketing. This question comes in from Kevin, and Kevin says, Hello, Jeff. I know that you are dealing with data science. What topic will data science play in marketing services in the future? And which knowledge from the area of data science is really relevant for digital marketing? I have already watched a mini course, but there are many uninteresting things for me, such as data science and business intelligence analysis for warehouse logistics. I love paid traffic and building funnels, but was never a huge fan of the detailed technical part of it. I'm not sure whether I should dedicate myself to this topic. And on the other side, maybe it can be very lucrative into the future and fun area of marketing. Best regards, Kevin. Yeah, Kevin, this is a good one. So I took a data mining class in college in my, when I was getting my computer science degree or computer information systems to be technical. Um, and it was the most boring class I've ever taken because I didn't really like the data set. It was about things that were more backend processes, things that weren't really interesting to me. So it was more about the it was more about data mining versus about marketing. And actually that ended up being the case for me with everything. I was just way more interested in the marketing side of it and the why it works and the human element of it than the technology. And so I've I've made a career out of trying to apply technology and my background in technology to helping people grow their business. That's that's really where my intersection is. It's the business side of the technology. And and obviously I've gotten to where I have and you're doing pretty well it seems like already with your agency or with doing the media and everything, you know, what you what you described on the the description of your question. So that's good. It's good to be in that area and if that's what you're passionate about talking about warehouse logistics and saving money in a warehouse from data science or data mining anything is not really going to get you very far and it's just going to make you fall asleep. Um, at the same time, though, if I wouldn't have taken that data mining class, then I wouldn't have had the wheels turning and ideas about how some things can work for segmentation of marketing, how how decisions work, and how you can have different variables in place, and how this affects that. And that really applied to my entire theory and my entire stance on Google Ads. And so if you took my Google Ads course and you saw how passionate I was, some of that stemmed from my technical training in computer science and in logic and in data and in um, even taking mathematics classes like finite mathematics or even doing business finance classes. Those things all applied. Even playing video games applied to my ability to be really good at getting more out of paid. And so I do think it's a worthwhile effort to at least skim the ideas and to start getting your wheels turning about how this can apply. Now, I took the data mining class, I think it was in like J term of 2002, and I didn't really use it again until 2006, 2007, or actually more even beyond that, once I started getting into my agency work and getting paid to do these, you know, do things around paid media, I think 2006, 2007, let's just say that. So it's like I took five years off of it, but that was forever in my mind. And so maybe you just take this course or a mini course or a boot camp, whatever you call it, and you just let you just marinate on it. Maybe it can be years that you marinate on it and you just think, okay, well, I'm not really sure how this applies right now, but at some point it could be useful for me. And then it's always yours now. It's always in your mind. It's always in your brain. And at some point, something's going to come along and you're going to be like, oh, this is where I apply that knowledge. And so I, I call it just, just in case knowledge versus just in time knowledge. Now, when it comes to just in case knowledge, meaning you could go out there and read about social media, you could read about mobile development and app development, you could read about data science, data mining, machine learning, algorithms, all those different items there. You could learn about JavaScript programming, Python, all these different things that people talk about, right? Which one of those just in case things do you think is gonna help you become a better marketer? That's really the, the bet you wanna place is which one of those things is gonna help you become a better marketer? Because the just in time learning would be like, hey, I should take all of Jeff's classes on PPC because that's really gonna help me right now. Just in case is something that might help you turn, you know, well into the future. And so you want to balance those things. I don't, I'm not going to ever tell anybody to not do just in case learning, but it's, it, it definitely stems to where you're at and when you want, what your timeline is for using it. And so just in case learning is something that you, you probably use over the next five to 10 years, just in time is something you'll learn right away and use it. And so I don't really know exactly where you're at in the business. If it's doing well and you're looking for expansion territories, then I think it'd be good to go into data science. If you just want to get the fundamental down and lock down what makes you you and makes you good in in the current services you offer just get really good at that and get your income stream locked down get your sales process locked down just keep on turning that into something where the business is growing it's healthy and you have a team in place to help you with execution and then you can start turning yourself back over to research and development 
Now, right now, I'm doing just-in-time learning, and that's it. I'm not doing any just-in-case learning um, because I've, I've learned a lot of stuff over the years. Um, but I do want to get back into the just-in-case. I actually really want to explore um, doing some of the programming part of data science and some of the machine learning and everything like that. But right now, I need to get my core business in place, and so that's what I'm focusing on. All I'm focused on is, is data-driven insiders and data-driven content and creating new cool stuff for everybody in the program. And so I'm not doing any just in case stuff right now, but I, I think that, you know, on a long, longer timeline, I'm trying to free myself up in order to do more of that because I really enjoy it. Now, as you can probably imagine, doing all that all day is probably not very fulfilling though. So you need to figure out what percentage of time you think would be dedicated to that. And then, um, and then which ones are going to be the ones that are going to help you hit that five to 10 year plan. And then that's how you execute. So that's how I look at it. Hopefully that helps. Mm -hmm.